Howdy folks! Howdy folks! So, uh, we told you a few minutes ago, which is probably like a week for you guys, that we're gonna do a few more of these brand versus budget videos. We just did one on hot dogs, and so now we're still hungry, so we're gonna eat some chips. Uh, we wanted to kind of keep it simple, not do anything crazy, so uh, we went ahead and we are comparing the Ruffles Sour Cream and Onion Chips to the HEB Ridged Sour Cream and Onion. So we're comparing flavor for flavor with a similar kind of chip, um, but guess what? This time, I'm not telling Paul which one is which. <laughs> so he is blind testing these. I'm gonna have him describe to you the differences between them, but before we do that, let's talk facts. So the facts are, the Ruffles chips at our store cost $2.98 for an 8.5 ounce bag. The Ridge, the H-E-B brand Ridged chips cost $1.98 versus $2.98, and that is for a full 11 ounces Okay, so we're talking an 11 ounce bag versus an eight and a half ounce bag, and you're paying a dollar more for that. Now, let's go ahead and we'll talk nutrition. I'll, uh, well, actually, you're not wearing glasses. So. Nutrition. See, about 11 chips for ruffles, and in those 11 chips, you're, you got about 150 calories. Okay, you gotta stop doing that. I love you so much, though. <laughs> Don't touch that. Look, it's like, do We'll just, we'll get there. We'll edit that part. Well, no, <laughs> no. Well, we're not editing any of this. Okay, so 150 calories for 11 chips. 11 chips, who eats 11 chips? I ate 11 chips before we started this video. Um, 10 grams of fat, 140 milligrams of sodium, 15 grams of carbs, two grams of protein. And like literally no nutritional value whatsoever toward your daily goals. All right, so. Let's see. For the HEV version, the Ridged, we have uh, the serving is about 12 chips instead of 11. However, we don't know. The chips might be a little smaller. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't told Paul which is which. I know which is which because I'm sneaky with that. Uh, okay, 150 calories for 12 chips, 9 grams of fat, so less, 140 milligrams of sodium, the same. 2 grams of protein and 15 grams of carbs. Okay, so pretty much everything's the same for 12 chips versus 11 chips. Um, and this is a smaller bag. Okay, so you are essentially, I say, getting more for less with the off brand. So, I, in my opinion, they're starting out ahead. But we're going to have to see what Paul thinks about the differences between them. So, we have two different chips. He's gonna describe the two different chips to you. Um, things like shape of chip, the distance of the ridges, how much flavor appears to be on each chip, that kind of thing. So, okay. do your assessment, Paul. And so I'll call the chips over here are, are in plate A, yes, and plate B. We'll say the chips in plate A, uh, they're more consistently round, versus the chips in plate B, which they do have some rumbles and such, but they're just not quite as big Are they like versus more consistent the, the uniformly more big chips on the other plate, or plate A, versus plate B. I've got a bunch of smaller ones and such. But that's not a huge deal to me because I'm going to be Breaking a lot of <laughs> them, yeah. breaking a lot of them apart anyway. Yeah. Right. So, I'll actually, since it's closer, I'll try. Like, but the ridges are they different? So the ridges are actually, they are, they appear to be uh, a little bit smaller on plate A versus plate B. Um, Do you think that'll affect the flavor? I'm not sure. At least it continues. But also, the ridges appear to be a little bit wider on chip B than chip A, so not quite as high and not quite as wide on chip A versus chip B. And does it look like one has more flavor or a different kind of flavor than the other, or do they look similar? Well, let's see, on chip A, the parts I'm guessing that are the, what is this, the green onion parts, they're smaller flecks versus 
slightly larger flex on B. Could be and reflective of flavor. Also, as far as color, B is um, slightly less dark than A. Okay. So we're looking down a lot. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'll so look at I'll try chip B. He's trying chip B first. Let's see. How's it go? Ooh, and you know what? We've also decided he's gonna drink the tea. Tell me, was that a satisfying chip, Paul? It was. Yeah. It's got a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor? That, yes. Okay. Now let's see about chip A. We should ASMR this hmm. so they can do the like the chip sound. It seems to me chip A is a little bit more subtle. Than it should be. Okay, it still has the flavor, nice. right? But it's it's more subtle. It almost would be what exactly you prefer. A little bit more flavor versus a little bit less. So subtle versus a bit stronger. Now, now let me ask you this question: mm -hmm. Do you think that that would affect the amount of chips that you could eat? Like, would you get overwhelmed with this flavor and have to stop sooner than with these? I don't think so. But I, for me, I like. This isn't my most favorite chip, the sour cream and onion. I'd probably go for the milder flavor versus the stronger flavor. What about the consistency of the actual chip? How do you feel about that? Both crunch very well. Um, actually, I was going to try another of each. Okay, let's see. Sounds pretty crunchy, but is like I want you to think about, like, does one seem like sounds like really weird but like a looser consistency or like more crumbly and the other in one feel like more crunchy like more substantial Kira doesn't care you hear her little toes like clicking she doesn't care I'll try it again <gasps> let's try it again I think I know who she's oh uh, it'll be fine oh are you gonna go I'm gonna grab her real quick whoa earthquake So, I'm trying Chip B right now. He's right, very flavorful, very satisfying. Very crunchy. Now let's wash it down. All right, now I'm gonna try Chip A. Well, I'm trying chip A. Paul can kind of tell you what he thinks after having a second round of chips. Well, I can tell you after I've had the second round of chips is I need to have a third round of chips. <laughs> you know what? This is more of like a packing a punch flavor. This one's sweeter. Hmm. This one's definitely sweeter. And this time I'm gonna get, since, I will say that- um, Are you gonna layer them? Chip B almost seems to be a little bit Thicker, but that's because, the like I said, are yeah, the roots are closer together and not quite as high on chip A. Which I'm gonna get a couple so of I feel chips. like if I was gonna dip these chips, like say I was gonna dip them into like I don't know French onion dip or whatever, which that would be a lot of onion, right? Totally up my alley. I would feel more comfortable dipping this chip than that chip. I think these would hold up to dip better. What so? do you think? I do. I apologize to anybody that has the condition that chewing makes you feel like sick to your stomach, hearing other people chew. I'm so sorry. That's why I try to talk when he's chewing, and he's just gonna put a whole mouthful of chips in right now. Totally fine with me. Totally good. Are you enjoying them? So far, if you had to point out what your preference is, what's your preference? Oh, he's gonna take a sip. Give some troubles one more time. This time with several. He's layering it up. We're going on 10 minutes, man. We gotta wrap this up. Mm. I don't think people care that mm. much about chips. Maybe they do. I don't know. No, I almost would say it depends on what kind of meal I'm gonna be eating as for which chip. Okay, if you're eating them with hot dogs. <laughs> Which one would you pick? 
I may choose the milder profile. But do you taste the sweetness in this versus this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's definitely sweeter. This one has a stronger actual onion flavor. Um, I'm guessing maybe the way I would describe it is probably this has more of the onion side of things. This has more of the sour cream side of things. So more like of a dairy sweetness kind of flavor versus the harshness of the onion, the kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the attack, the onion attack. So I like both of them, but you're right. I think that depending on the situation, I would pick them. But if we're having like a family gathering, mm -hmm. would you feel comfortable purchasing which one? Which one would you prefer? If we had a family gathering and we had dip and hot dogs and hamburgers, which one do you think would be better overall? That's a good question because one other thing, this one has, and this may sound odd, but a soft, chip A has a softer crunch than chip B. Hmm, interesting. And with respect to that, it'd be easier to eat than with them. I don't know, I, even though I, you know me, I don't like hard breads and such, I prefer this the crunch of this over okay. B over A for crunch. All right, make your choice. A, A or B, chip A or chip B. It's a tough one, guys. I'm holding it under your head. <laughs> you have to choose. Because then I'm going to make you guess which is which. Oh my god, you know what, guys, he already knows which one he wants. He just wants to eat more. He's trying to come up with a reason to eat more. Not joking. That's the truth. Actually, I would lean towards B. You lean towards B? Yeah. I would lean towards B. Even though A is still good. I That's funny, because initially you were saying that this was more your speed because it's milder. Right, but as I'm eating more and more of each... You find yourself wanting to grab these more? Yeah, and it's a lot in part due to the crunch. Okay. All right, now you have to guess. Do you think plate A is Ruffles or H-E-B Ridged? And then you take a bite right when I ask the question. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna say plate A for the Ruffles. Okay. Versus um, Ridge being plate B. Reasoning or thought being the name brand, may spend uh, more time and effort on consistency and how big uh, how big the potatoes are they choose. So as far as getting a nice big chips like this versus the budget brand, which will take smaller potatoes yeah. and they don't necessarily spend... Small potatoes. <laughs> they, uh, you know, more of these you know guys what? might flow through. My thing is mm -hmm. small potatoes. Small potatoes, uh, you're wrong, buddy. I'm wrong? You're totally wrong. Holy cow. Yeah, you picked the brand name this time. So, surprise! Wow. Yeah, he prefers the brand name. I don't have a preference between the two of them. I would eat either yeah. happily. Um, so for me, I would just, i grab the, the off-brand, the store brand, any day of the week. Um, I find H-E-B brand things are nice. <laughs> I find H-E-B brand items are very reliable. Um, as he said, they seem to do a lot of uh, research sourcing their ingredients yeah, because they're more consistent. Yeah, so, and bigger, um, as far as taking the top chips out of the bag, you know, these are a lot bigger and you know, less pieces. Mm -hmm. So what I will say, my assessment is, is that brand names wanna make money. So they're not going to try as hard. The store brands have to compete with the brand names to get, you know, preference over the brand. So as you saw, even with as much hard work as HEV went through to be consistent, even their flavoring is consistently distributed on each chip more so than the ruffles. Oh, yeah. um, but he still preferred the ruffles. My guess is probably like per chip there's more sugar. The other thing is, is remember I said maybe the, the 12 chips being a serving means that their chips are smaller? They're not, they're not smaller. They're bigger, consistently bigger sized chips. So to me, I think 
definitely if you're buying for um, the sole purpose of saving money, you're going to want to go with the, the store brands this time. And, and I would say also you want to go for the store brand simply because of that dollar price difference, right? Dollar price and it's a bigger bag. Yeah. So not only are you saving a dollar, but you're also getting, what is that? Almost 50% more. Yeah, I would say so. it, looking just for the price and how much you get for your money, um, that's not enough to overcome the taste, the, the subtle taste difference. Right. So I think that Paul would, flavor wise, he would pick Ruffles. But if we're on a budget, which we are, yeah. we're always on a budget, we try to always be budget friendly, we're probably going to buy the HEB brand because yeah. it still tastes good. And especially if you're using a dip with it, it's not going to matter anyway. Yeah. So. And, and the Ruffles simply don't taste a whole dollar better per bag versus the H-E-B brand. So yeah, yeah definitely have to go to the H-E-B brand. <gasps> budget wins again. It does. Okay guys, so if you like brand versus budget, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, this video. Uh, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you can be kept in the loop and watch Paul eat more food while I talk about food. <laughs> and I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Bye.